Welcome to this short video on Renumber by Room. The Renumber by Room allows you to renumber doors, windows, furniture, things like that based on the room number. To demonstrate this, as we can see on screen here, I have a room one. It's got a door of 105. And I really want that to either be 1, 1A, 1B. And down here I've got a room 2, and I've got doors here 106A and 106B. So I want to renumber those. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to come up here to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon. I'm going to come over to Renumber. I'm going to select Renumber by Room. The Renumber by Room dialog box comes up. And I'm going to renumber everything that's in the model. I could do just the active view. The category I want to renumber are doors. The number, I'm going to say if it's going to the room, or I have the option to go from the room. I'm going to go from to the room. For the sort by, I can either sort by the ID, the XYZ location, or the YXZ location. I'm going to do the ID. I can put in a separator if I wanted to, like a dash. So I could actually type in a dash in here, and you can see what it looks like in the preview. I'm not going to put it in a dash. It's going to be alphabetical. I could also do numerical. I'm going to omit the number letter if only one of them exists. So if I only have one door, I don't want 1A. I just want 1. Okay. We also have other options in here. Ignore renumbering if ignore renumber parameter is set to yes. And reverse opening direction if reverse mark parameter is set to yes. Okay. I'm not going to do either of those. I'm just going to go OK. And now you can see I've got the door here as one. If I come on down here, I've got 2A and 2B. This concludes this short video on Renumber by Room. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.